Welcome to our travel guide to Turkey, where we explore the most awesome places to visit in this incredible country. From the bustling streets of Istanbul to the ancient ruins of Ephesus, Turkey has something for every traveler. Our journey begins in Istanbul, once serving as the capital of the Ottoman and Byzantine empires. Istanbul today is the largest city in Turkey and one of the largest in the world. Istanbul stretches across both sides of the Bosphorus, a narrow strait that connects Asia and Europe, making it the only city in the world spanning two continents. Impressive architecture, historic sites, dining, shopping, nightlife and exotic atmosphere all make Istanbul one of the world's top tourist destinations. Next, we head to Ankara, Turkey's capital city. Ankara is a sprawling modern city home to government buildings, commercial businesses, universities, and foreign embassies. Located right in the center of the country in the Anatolia region, Ankara is an important transportation hub, linking nationals and tourists alike to other major destinations in Turkey. However, Ankara is not all business. This bustling city also offers a few historic sites and some arts and culture. An old city once inhabited by various cultures, including Hittite, Greek, Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman, Ankara is riddled with ancient structures and ruins reflecting its history. Some of the most notable of these are the Temple of Augustus, the Citadel, and a Roman theater. Numerous historic mosques can also be found throughout the city. An important 20th century landmark, Anit Kabir, is a mausoleum housing the tomb of Turkey's first president, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Next, we head to Cappadocia, situated in central Anatolia of Turkey. Cappadocia is best known for its fairy tale landscape of unusual formations resembling chimneys, cones, mushrooms, and pinnacles. Natural processes such as ancient volcanic eruptions and erosion have all sculpted these odd formations over the ages, with some of them rising as much as 130 feet high. However, thousands of years ago, mankind added remarkable touches to the landscape by carving out houses, churches, and underground cities from the soft rock. Inhabited as early as 1800 BC, Hittites and other residents chiseled out underground tunnel complexes, seeking safety from invading Persians and Greeks. Much later in the fourth century AD, Christians, fleeing out of religious persecution from Rome, sought refuge in Cappadocia's tunnels and caves. Today, the region's natural wonders and historic sites all make it a popular destination. Next, we head to Ephesus, Europe's most complete classical metropolis. Ephesus is an ancient site located in Aegean, Turkey. By the first century BC, Ephesus was one of the largest cities in all of the Roman Empire, boasting one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Temple of Artemis. The ruins of Ephesus are well-preserved and contained within a large archaeological site, making it one of Turkey's most popular tourist attractions. Ephesus was declared a Roman settlement in 133 BC, although it did not reach its peak until some 200 years later. At one point, when the city was the capital of Roman Asia Minor, Ephesus housed more than 250,000 permanent residents. St. Paul lived in Ephesus, fostering Christianity among many other religions. With the decline of the harbor of Ephesus and the sacking of the city by Germanic Goths in the third century, Ephesus began its decline. Bodrum is our next stop. Located in the Mughla province in the southern Aegean region of Turkey, Bodrum is the site of the ancient fortified city, Halicarnassus, which was once home to marble buildings, temples, statutes, paved streets, and the mausoleum, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. On Bodrum's eastern side, tourists will find a beautiful beach overlooking brilliant blue water. Near the beach are plenty of cafes, bars, and nightclubs. On the western side of town is the marina, shopping centers, and restaurants. No visit to Bodrum would be complete without seeing the Castle of St. Peter, also known as Bodrum Castle. Built from 1402 by the Knights Hospitaller, it now operates as a museum. Other sites include the last remains of the mausoleum, an ancient amphitheater, and the Mindos Gate, which was once the scene of a bloody battle during a siege by Alexander the Great. Finally, we head to Antalya, nestled along the beautiful Turkish Riviera on the Mediterranean coastline. Antalya is a large, vibrant city, welcoming tourists with numerous resorts, hotels, bars, and restaurants. Spectacular scenery frames the city with gorgeous beaches and lush green mountains dotted with ancient ruins. From swimming and sailing to mountain climbing, sightseeing and family fun, Antalya offers something for everyone. 
A walk around Kalechi, the old quarter, offers a step back into the city's ancient past with views of the old city walls, Roman gates, maze-like streets, and historic structures that include the clock tower and beautiful old churches, mosques, and temples. At the heart of the old quarter is the Kumhuriyet Square, surrounded by shops, cafes, Turkish baths, and street performers. Antalya's main beaches, Konyalti and Lara, offer white sands, water sports, resorts, bars, and restaurants. Nearby the beaches are water parks, amusement parks, and a zoo. Several museums exhibit artifacts and relics from the area, including the award-winning Antalya Museum.